Ocean acidification is a phenomenon that we're experiencing now due to the fact that the ocean is absorbing, like a sponge, carbon dioxide that we produce. As CO2 is absorbed by the ocean, it changes the chemistry which can cause the oceans to become more acidic. We know that ocean pH is changing and that in itself is alarming. You can acidify any liquid just by taking a straw and blowing through it into a glass of water and the CO2 in your breath is introduced into the water and causes a dropping of the pH in the water. Same thing is happening in the ocean. That in the last 250 years or so, the acid levels in the ocean have increased 25 to 30 percent. And this is directly measurable. You can go out into the ocean with special meters and you can measure that increase in acidification. As you increase the concentration of carbon dioxide in the water, you're actually going to affect ocean organisms physiologically and affect their metabolism. It's like they're breathing into a brown paper bag. You lose some of the species you would expect to be really sensitive, and these are species with shells. Many organisms in the ocean build skeletons out of calcium carbonate, which is basically chalk. Clams, corals, snails, many, many organisms use this material for their skeletons. Ocean acidification, it will literally dissolve some of the shell. It will affect the structural integrity of the shell, and this is a skeleton of the animal. Think of your own skeletons uh, basically becoming a little bit rubbery. Oysters are ecologically important. They filter water, they provide habitat for a lot of other organisms at the base of the food chain. We're beginning to see effects in microscopic planktonic organisms in the southern ocean and that's alarming because some of these microplankton are responsible for producing much of the food at the base of the food chain. We are all connected. We depend on the ocean for our economies out here on the west coast, for example, one of the areas of concern is oyster farming. We can already see how economies are being affected. We've had a response to the $300 million potential loss of a huge economy through the oyster fishery in the state of Washington. There's actually been a response on the part of the government recognizing explicitly that this is going to be an issue, it's going to be an enormous impact on coastal communities and in the way that a lot of people make their living. I think other states will follow. I think uh, California should be paying attention to this. The number one thing that we can do to combat ocean acidification is to stop burning fossil fuels. Burning fossil fuels has been one giant chemistry experiment threatening the oceans that give us life. We can turn toward clean and renewable energy sources, and if we can tell our friends and our elected officials about ocean acidification, we can leave those chemistry experiments in the classroom and start being part of the solution. The oceans don't have a voice, so if we can use our voices in the classroom, in our offices, on social media, at the dinner table, we can educate people, we can inspire people, and we can ultimately be leaders for the ocean and for the people that depend on it.